The following is an excerpt from a book titled You Are the Way, Manifest Your Dream Life with Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption by Elmer O. Locker Jr., Fabio Mantegna, and Neville Goddard. If you wish to purchase this book, just follow the link down in the description box below. This is the story about David's grandfather, Elmer. Today, I'm going to address the question I've been getting probably 10 or 15 million times regarding how my grandfather would manifest relationships into his life and how he would have sex three or four times a day at a minimum. Yes, he did. In fact, he ended up divorcing my grandmother based on these manifestations because he wanted to have multiple relationships with different women. The story was that he went home one night and to my grandmother, he ran a chain of VIP gentlemen's clubs in Los Angeles. When he went home to my grandmother looking for affection, she wouldn't oblige. And so he said, okay. And that was the end of it. He went back to the club and that's when he started his rampage or whatever you want to call it, where he was sleeping with multiple women all the time. They got divorced and he gave her millions of dollars as well as properties. Meanwhile, he got together with what ended up being his wife, Carmen, who was one of his top dancers at his club and 40 years younger than him. He later ended up getting remarried. However, the process of how he would create specific relationships with a woman was by finding the girl that he wanted to sleep with. And he would have a conversation with her and he would talk to her and he would study her appearance. He would study her like I would study a hundred dollar note. Basically, you study all the details, the hair and the hairstyle, the eye color, the skin tone, everything, the body and how tall she is, what her voice sounds like. Ideally, he'd get her to speak so he could hear her voice clearly. When you go into your imaginary act, you can recreate that. My grandfather had a specific technique that he used. He would be in bed with this girl in his imagination. He would create a scene with this girl in his imagination. She would say to him, that was the most amazing sex I've ever had. And where he would say, you are the best I've ever had. It would generally be a phrase implying that he was the best lover that they ever had. He would get so excited when telling me this. You know, he was just full of passion and he was a passionate guy, but that's how he would create having multiple relations with different women at the same time. He could manifest having sex with three to four women a day with women 40 years younger than him, any girl that he wanted. He manifested all sorts of things, getting laid, money, and he did quite a lot of other things in his life that weren't that respectable as well. He drank a lot and he used some drugs. He started getting into drugs and things like that, which I don't condone myself. I don't drink and I don't take drugs. I believe that this can hinder you and ultimately affect your manifestations and eventually destroy your life. I don't need to drink alcohol. I don't need to use drugs to be happy. I am happy because I am grateful. And when you're grateful, you're filled with abundance in your life. I am happy because I am grateful and able to understand what consciousness is. To see this world and life itself as a vacation. To realize that we have created this world ourselves and erased the memory of it. We have created this world to appease loneliness and to be happy. And I am very happy. And that's what life is about. I don't need anything outside myself to be happy. I am happy within. And that was my grandfather's strategy or his technique on getting any girl that he wanted. Now, of course, this is a story about somebody who wanted to manifest having sex with many different women, in particular, one specific woman who happened to be 40 years his junior. But remember, this is a very basic Neville Goddard and manifesting technique to live in your imagination which is God, and to live in the wish fulfilled. 
that is to make your imagination of your desire so realistic to you that it is real to your mind whether it's actually being lived out in the world in reality or not at this point is irrelevant the external world is irrelevant to your imagination it takes second place to your imagination your imagination is God so as you use these techniques you can use this for anything that you desire you can use it to count money in your imagination hundred dollar bills and count them with the feeling that this is your money that you're counting whether you're actually counting physical money at that moment or not you persist in this imaginary act you persist in it for so long until it feels real to you you can use this technique to manifest having sex with people you can, specific people too you can manifest this technique to have relationships with specific people it's all the same it comes down to your imaginal act and to fostering the feeling of the wish fulfilled to really feel it as being real because when it's real in your imagination when it feels real to you in your imagination it becomes real in the outer world you turn to your imagination you turn to your inner state and that is what you work on that is where you create and foster the reality that you desire and become the person that you desire to become if you found this content Helpful, useful, valuable, please hit the like button now. It helps this channel get more views, more traction. It helps the algorithm understand that you like my content and present it to multiple other people out there in the YouTube universe and the internet universe. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I am Tarkon. Happy manifesting.